Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia with Stitches by Patti if you're new here. And this vlog is going to be all about market prep, kind of. <laughs> I have a market coming up on November 26th. It's currently October 30th. Not November 26th, what am I saying? I do have one that day, but I also have one November 12th. Um, so I will be prepping for that market, but first we have to make a custom order. We're making a lion. I started it yesterday. And I only got the paws done, but that is that. And then I also am working on a pattern test for Milo the donkey. And this pattern is by Sweet Fluffy Stitches. This is the same um, designer whose cow pattern I made. So I'm so excited to test for her. So first things first, we're going to finish the custom order and the pattern test. And then we're going to work on market prep. I also got a package from my friend Addison. We exchanged yarn. Um, she needed something and then um, I asked her to pick me up some yarn from Hobby Lobby because I don't have one near me. So we'll open that in a second. Let me change and get ready because I was doing um, my school hours today for my master's program and I am exhausted. So let's do that real quick and I'll see you soon. All right, you guys, let's open this package. It's such a gloomy day outside today. It was raining really bad in the morning, and now it's just like, you know, um, what do they say? Overcast, cloudy? I don't know, whatever. It's um, it's perfect crochet weather. This is the yarn I've been wanting. It's by Babe, uh, it's the Adorable Sprinkles Baby Bee. It's from, it's from Hobby Lobby, and this skein is $5 a piece, and the color is called Sprinkles, and the color code is 994, so she just sent me three of them. Comment down below what you think I should make with this. Personally, I want to make some octopi. And I forgot what else I told her I wanted to make. But octopi for sure, I want to make from these. They're so pretty and cute. So anyways, comment down below. Let me know what I should make because this yarn is just so pretty and adorable. And I love it. So anyways, um, we gotta go. We have things to do today, you guys. I am stressed. I am pressed. So yeah, let's go. I also have class today and I don't have um, the meeting details, so that's great. But we got to get going, so let's not procrastinate any longer. All right, you guys, I definitely should have read the pattern before I started it because the original pattern was already 13 to 14 inches uh, using like Himalaya Dolphin Baby. And that's not the point. I was going to use Sweet Snuggles Light anyways, but I made it bigger because it was only 39 single crochets around i did 44 and it's huge look at this anyways the customer wanted at least 10 inches 10 to 12 inches so this one's gonna be much bigger than that but whatever she'll be happy with it she just wanted it a bigger plushie for the person that's getting it and the kid that's getting it so i just smacks my glasses this is the progress. I'm almost, I'm like halfway done with the body and then we have to do the head, the ears, the snout, and the mane. The mane is going to be the most annoying part. It's like loop crochet, which is annoying, but I'm so happy with how this looks so far. Currently 822. I'm about to attach the arms. Look how cute and snuggly it's going to be and the wobbly legs. You guys know I love wiggly, wobbly, jiggly legs. <laughs> Whatever. Dangly. That's another word. Um, I'm so happy with how it looks. And then after I attach the arms, it's time to start the head. And I'm really hoping I can get this done today. Um, I have to say I did this pretty quick. I'm not sure when I started. I want to say like around 5.30ish is when I started crocheting. And then I did take a couple breaks. But that's not bad at all for the size of this plushie. My wrists are sore, my right wrist especially, it's my crochet hand, um, it's pretty sore, but I'm hoping I can get it finished today, if not like completely finished, um, at least all the parts done and then I'll do the main tomorrow because I also have to do the pattern test and it's due tomorrow, but I've been so busy and you guys, yesterday um, was Sunday, which was the day after my concert, you, you'll probably see that in the previous um, video. You guys, I was so tired. I literally slept almost the whole day. And I also wasn't feeling well. That's a whole nother story. I felt sick all of last week. My throat was killing me. And the con just as my throat was starting to feel better, I went to the concert and then it started hurting all over again because I was yelling at the concert. Um, 
but yeah so let me finish this and then i have to take care of the dogs and then we'll probably do a little bit more i've been up since five today so i am tired i did have a coffee today which usually i don't have coffee but I did have a coffee, a butter pecan coffee. I'm going to continue crocheting because I just talk too much all the time. Hello and happy Halloween. I lost my cat ears somewhere in my bag. But anyways, today on the way to work, I finished the books that I was reading um, in the car on the way to work. So I made some octopi. I made one and I have one more tentacle left on the other one. So these take me about 15 minutes to make. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's so cute. I love this color and the tentacles all curly like this. Chef's kiss. Um, <laughs> here's what I finished last night with the lion. I didn't get that much done. Um, I finished sewing on the arms and I started the head, but that's what we're working with right now. I have mascara or something under my eye. I don't know. Maybe it's just dark circles, but today we're going to take a break from the lion and I'm going to do my pattern test because I have to send my notes in and my pictures by tonight so i'm gonna go walk the doggies it's very chilly today it's like 50 degrees outside and um in the past couple weeks it was like 50 degrees in the morning and then like 60 70 in the day so it wasn't that it wasn't that cold but today it's nice and chilly so i'm wearing my puffy what is it called you know these kind of jackets um, I'm going to go walk the dogs and then we're going to get started on the pattern test and I'm talking fast because I don't have a lot of time. I tried to add in my YouTube video today also, but it just wasn't working out. I also really love how I did my eyeliner today. I usually don't do eyeliner, but you know, since I had cat ears on, I was like, mm, let's just do some little lines. They're not even dragged all the way through if you could see that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I really messed this one up. I must have touched my eye or something. Okay, I'm talking too much. Bye. It looks like I'm not getting any work done today because my little puppy wants to cuddle. Look at all those colors I'm going to use. Oh. You guys, it's around 7.15 right now and I am so slow lately with my crochet. Like, all I did was make the legs, the snout, and the two ears. They're technically four pieces, but I feel like I'm so slow. I don't know if it's because I'm pattern testing or like genuinely... <laughs> I'm a slow crocheter, but that's what that is. I also ordered some Korean food from a new place that I found on Uber Eats. And I'll show you guys when I get that. I ordered like these spicy noodles and I'm a little bit scared that they might be too spicy. We'll see. And then I also got tteokbokki. Listen, my pronunciation is not good. So here's how it's spelled. But basically they're rice cakes. I'm so hungry and I've been sick and now I have a cough and I'm just not living my best life right now. I'm convinced I got sick from the kids at school when I go to do my observation hours because this one kid, let me tell you guys, this one kid, okay, I was tying his shoe and he decided to sneeze on me. Listen, they're young, they're like five and six year olds, but still, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how I got sick. So this started last week. And I had like a sore throat for like really bad for two days and then my throat was um, burning and then itching and then now I have a cough. So if my voice sounds different, that's probably why. I don't know if you can even notice it or hear it that much, but I feel it when I talk. So that's my update. I'm waiting for my food and I'm so happy to eat. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. I just dropped the dogs off at the groomers because um they're so fluffy. They needed haircuts and now I'm going to go home, pack some orders, take some pictures, take some videos, drop them off at the post office and then I'm picking up my family because we're going to go um, some Christmas shopping. I want to go to Marshalls, I want to go to Oshkosh, Carter's um, and this other like Korean or Japanese makeup store to get some stuff for Christmas gifts and I've been feeling under the weather, I've been sick. So that's why I took a little bit of a break from recording. I don't think I've recorded since like Tuesday or something. Um, so yeah, yesterday was like the first day I was feeling better. So I finished up orders and now they have to be shipped out. So, oh, I have mascara. You guys, I was running so late today. I woke up at 7.15. I had to take the dogs to the groomers. Like they had to be there at nine. It was actually early by 10 minutes, which was great. But anyways, enough of me rambling. Um, I'm gonna get a move on. I'm trying to plug in my aux cord. Um, 
and yeah if maybe i'll show you guys a haul i don't know we'll see because my family watches my youtube videos my friends watch it so i don't want to spoil the gifts for them but i'm gonna have some cute stuff guys okay see you later oh and then we're gonna do some admin work like i have to edit a bunch of youtube videos i'm so behind you guys i just posted my market prep for um, for september 22nd and it's currently november 4th so that's how you know i'm behind i have two more market vlogs to put up i have some um other content that i have to include like some sponsored content so i gotta get a move on it and um yeah the weekends are always busy for me and i'm so happy i'm feeling better because i was literally in the trenches um i didn't brush my hair you know whatever i was running late the fact that i had time to shower is amazing okay so i'm gonna go now because i tend to ramble on when i have things to do Bye. all right you guys i don't know how i managed to fit both of these huge plushies in here but i did okay so that's done and then i also packed up the little squids i hope i took pictures of everything <laughs> i think i did um anyways i also wanted to share with you guys since i'm home look at the donkey he is so cute this is the pattern test i told you guys i was working on he's so adorable and hold on he has a little hat look at him so cute um the hat is not sewn on so <laughs> he can be naked too but i love him so so cute so 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 cute go get the pattern now it's from sweet fluffy stitches and then also you guys i have that new yarn from addison and i've been working on little octos i have five so far and and this is how much yarn i have left so i want to see how many uh little octos i can make from that one ball the pattern is by hooked and beyond it's a free pattern on her instagram but now let's run to the post office i'm like running out of energy already but it's the first day that i feel like i can go 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 so um yeah i'm just gonna grab everything i need you can see <laughs> my poor nose um I'm just going to grab everything I need. I'm also going to grab my glasses because I was in such a rush this morning. I forgot to take them. So I didn't put on contacts today. So we have glasses. It's fine. Okay, I got to go now. But look at this fat package compared to my little one. <laughs> okay, you guys, we got to go. I'll see you in a little bit. Do you guys want a car treat? A car treat? These are the treats they're getting. Car treat. Treat. what the heck how'd you eat it so fast she's still taking her time i am so exhausted also i bought so much stuff um for my friends and family and for the babies that are coming two of my friends are expecting so i got them a bunch of stuff for their babies um but yeah right now i am gonna eat something and then I'm debating whether I should work on a YouTube video or do something else, but I feel like I should work on the YouTube video, so I'm probably going to do that. But then we have to make a list for market prep because it's next week. It's next week. All right, so listen, it's the next day. <laughs> it's the next day because yesterday um, I was so tired. I ate and then I, um, I was watching a TV show. I was like, okay, let me finish the episode and then I fell asleep, so... That's what happened and then after i was trying to edit a youtube video which i did most of the way through i just finished it up this morning which that is the pop-up shop market vlog that's on my channel today's november 5th my market is next week so next week at this time i will be at a market but i'm on here <laughs> to say all that to say i'm on here because we're gonna make a market prep list together um here's the thing i have a lot of stuff already um because i didn't do markets for a long time i started doing markets after crocheting for over like a year and a half or like a year and a half something like that um so i just have a lot of stuff that i want to get out and then i'm probably going to donate um a bunch of things to this toys for tots drive that we're doing at my job i'm gonna look through all my stuff and whatever i just don't even want to bring to my markets because it doesn't fit like the rest of the products i'm probably just gonna donate um because why not everyone loves plushies what's the point of me saying all that i'm gonna write down a list to market prep but it won't be that much like it won't be as much as i usually would if i didn't have stock which 
kind of works out for me. Yes, you're a baby. You're a baby. Okay. Okay, so anyways, all of that to say, um, I'm here because I want to make a market list with you guys. But here's the thing. I know um, it's kind of weird the way I do my markets. I don't really make a lot of stuff. And that is because um, I've been crocheting for almost two years now. And I didn't start doing markets until very recently within the last two months. Um... So I do have a lot of stock and I want to get that out before I make a whole bunch of new stuff. And also, I am going to be later sometime, sometime before December 1st, I will be looking through all of the plushies that I have and I am going to be donating some to this Toys for Tots drive that we're doing at work, which basically gives kids presents who either can't afford it or whatever the case is. Um, you guys get what I mean, it's a charity event. So... A bunch of my makes will be going to there also let's get started i really don't i'm not sure what to make i know i'm going to bring my two reindeer my gingerbread man i'm gonna insert a picture here it's actually a free pattern on my instagram um and i've been thinking of reworking it so that it's no so but i kind of like the way the arms stick out like this so that's just a thought um let's make let's make a list of what i want to bring to the market i'm thinking teddy bears i'm thinking a lot of teddy bears um and some baby loveys because the small stuff like that's that's pretty easy for me i i think um i've been working on those little pocket octos um i don't know if i said this before in the video but the pattern is by hooked and beyond here is the pattern if i didn't include it before and i have five made so far from this yarn and that might be the only yarn I am going to make them in unless I decide to make it from Burnout, Bel Burnout Blanket. I have a really pretty baby blue color. Anyways, let me just get my notebook and we'll brainstorm some ideas. This market is going to be on November 12th. It would probably be helpful if I knew what the location was. I have to check. But um, let's say I'm going to do five teddy bears. And there is a teddy bear pattern. Um, I forget who who made it. I'll put it up here though. Um, and I really love that bear pattern. I have two or three bear patterns of my own, but that one I just really like. It's small, it's a nice size. I like the shape. So we're gonna make five of them. And I'm thinking I wanna do a baby pink. I definitely wanna do like a lilac color, like a lavender lavender slash lilac because i have two purples that i really like then we're gonna make two um light browns like the what color is it mm, the teddy bear color from premiere so i'm just gonna write two times teddy bear because i know what color that is and then there's one more that i want to make maybe i'll make a baby blue one for a little boy baby blue so we have five teddy bears that i want to make i think i'm going to price those at 40 dollars each you know i never time myself when time myself when i make things so it's hard for me to price it later i just basically basically do it on the amount of effort that it took me um what else i do want to make axolotls so uh the pattern that i want to use is by way crochets so let me just specify that and i'm gonna write axolotl i'm just gonna make maybe three of them i think they're no so so that would be pretty easy to make and we'll price those at 30 dollars for now um we'll see how long it takes me to make them and there was something else oh i want to make the little tiny axolotls i want to make matching ones and for the matching ones um i'm going to use the lumiel arts pattern i just really like her pattern a lot and they're just very cute and those are $12. Um, I think I might have one axolotl left over. I'm not sure. Okay. And then we have to make rainbow leggy froggies. I want to make five of them. Um, let me know down below. Are you guys the type to like write out your market prep list? Do not even write a market prep list. But do you write it or do you type it? Because personally, I need to write it. It's so much better for me. And then I can cross it off like done. You know? Um, sense of accomplishment. What else? Keychains. Um, I think I might put all of my bees on keychains, my little smaller bees, um, but I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a look at my Instagram and see what other 
patterns I've made before. This is really how I market prep. Like there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just for markets, I usually try to have small things and some bigger things. I definitely want to make some of my squids. So let's do five of them and I definitely want to make at least one rainbow one. So I'm just going to write stitches by Patti Squid. And we're going to write three for now, but I'm going to write five in parentheses, um, just so like as an option, you know. Um, also, should I make more chubby chickens? I don't know. I want to make more bootylicious frogs. I only have two left. So well, you guys, I don't know if I should make more magnets. I still have a bunch, but it's not going to look as full on my board, so... I know what I want to make. I want to make those small frogs by Lacromi. I want to make 10 of those. And um, I want to do mint green, lavender. I want to do light blue. Let's do dark green. And I would do one more color, but I can't think of a color that I would want to make right now. Since it's like Christmas time, we're going to make stars. And this star pattern is free on Instagram. I'm going to put a picture here. I love making them. So let's... um. Let's just do five of them for now because I don't want to overwhelm myself. This is already a lot that I would have to do in one week. And as you guys know, I have a lot of other obligations. So it's kind of difficult for me to make everything. Baby whales. This is also a free pattern. I'll put it on the screen. You know, I hate myself for saying, oh, I'll put it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. Because then when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I have to go back and find pictures and screenshots. But it's okay. Anyways, baby whale free pattern. Okay, I think like I have a good mix of small and big items. I decided for this market, I won't be making any loveys. I have two loveys um, that haven't sold for my past market, the Dino lovey and the Bee lovey. Um, and I'll just bring those. I'll put them like in one basket or something and I'll label it lovey, loveys, like baby loveys. But here's the thing, you guys. I don't know if you follow Mama Made Minis on Instagram, but they have recently came out with a crochet book of, I think it's 12 of their patterns. I think it's either 12 or 16 of their patterns. And they came out with it in a book form. So I pre-ordered that. It's supposed to come in November 14th. That's the release date. So for my November 26th market is when I'll go crazy with the levies and I'll re um, restock whatever small items go missing. But those are the plans. Okay, I'm kind of happy. Okay, I'm feeling a little better about this. Here's the list, okay? So we have five teddy bears, three big axos, um, three matching axos, five leggy froggy keychains, um, five squids, three bootylicious frogs, ten, ten like small frogs from Lacromi, five stars, and ten baby whales so far, all right? And we'll decide on the baby whale colors later. I'm probably just going to use some scrap yarn and put something together. But yay! Okay, I'm so excited now. I mean, I'm sure I'll be stressed in a little bit. But okay, this is this is good. We're doing good, okay, guys? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to like do like a rough cut of a video or something like that. At least transfer all the files because I do want to post it, post another video this week. I mean, this past week I posted two videos. But I just want to catch up on my content and give you guys fresh content instead of giving you content from a month ago. So yeah, life has just been super, super hectic lately. And I've been very overwhelmed. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons I got sick. Because I got sick twice. The first time, my throat was killing me. Then that went away. I had like two days break. And then I got a super stuffy nose and I couldn't stop coughing. I'll spare you guys the details, but yeah. And I ended up getting a fever as well. So I've been taking it slower this week because my body just needs it. And I've been rambling on for a very long time. So let's just edit a video and hopefully I can get it done pretty quick and we'll be able to crochet. I'm thinking I want to start on the froggies. The little froggies, they're so cute. <laughs> and I also have to write my own pattern. But that's a whole other thing. Oh my god. I have to write that pattern, the monkey pattern, Melody the monkey, I have to make her baby, and I've literally been dreaming about this baby, on how to make it, that's, that's how you know there's something wrong with me. Okay, so it's been a minute, but you could probably see in the background, I did not start the leggy froggies, but here is a Melody and her baby right now, he is wrapped around her neck, how cute, peanut, how freaking cute. Little monkey and mama. 
mom and baby i'm still working on this pattern because i'm not 100 percent like loving how it looks this one i love i love mama melody but the baby still needs a little bit of work um but yeah i think he's so cute and the original idea was to have him like on the mom's back like this so part of the problem is i need to make the arms longer so i'm gonna do that and i don't really like the fingers so i might do something different for that but it's really cute and maybe make the belly a little smaller this is part of the hug me collection and if you guys can guess what the next pattern is um i don't know you get a cookie <laughs> we'll get a cookie no but this is so cute and this is very low so the only thing that's sewn on to the plushie is the head and um the only thing sewn on to this plushie is the head so everything else is sewn in and i love it so cute oh i'm so happy with this pattern okay um anyways before i start going off on that i picked the colors that i'm going to use for the leggy froggies i know i wrote some down earlier but I can't find the dark green velvet yarn that I wanted to use. I don't know where it is. I'm going to use Premier Parfait Chunky and Emerald. I'm going to use Burnout Velvet in whatever mint green color this is. I'm going to use, I think this is Cornflower from Premier Parfait Chunky. This I bought while I was in Poland, but it's kind of like, um, it's not lime green, but it's not like a, I don't know, it's like a kiwi color. That's the best way I can describe it. And then we're going to use this retro velvet um yarn from premiere from premiere and this is in the color lavender those are the frog colors i'm gonna start with this one because i don't know i just really like it and i will update you guys when i make some but i'm just going to relax a little bit it's seven o'clock right now i just ate i made myself um kind of like spring rolls but i saw on tiktok like people put ramen noodles and cheese with something else inside well i put sesame cheese and um, ramen noodles and then you put them in the rice paper like a spring roll and then you fry them and it was pretty good um i'm not sure if i would make make them again i'm full so i also uploaded all of my footage for the past two events that i did so that video will be up by the time you're seeing this one and yeah, let's get to market prepping. I'm going to see if I can finish all 10 frogs today. If not, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Um, tomorrow, I have class online. And I'm also doing my last day of like teacher observations. So that's fun. I am checking in because I made three leggy froggies. So I made both of them in this kiwi color. And then I made one more in the lavender from Retro Velvet. I'm trying to time myself to let you guys know how long more or less it takes me to make these i feel like these took me a little longer this one was almost 13 minutes um i'll put a screenshot here but this was almost 13 minutes and this yarn was just not gliding on my hook but i feel like the lavender one took me a lot less time and there's like a small size difference between them i used a four and a half millimeter hook for both of them but i am catching up on my youtube because I haven't been able to. I've just been super busy and tired and whatnot. So right now I'm watching Melly Inspired Crochet. And if you haven't watched her, you definitely should. Here is her at thing profile. Boom, boom, boom. And then I also caught up with Lumiel Art Alyssa on YouTube as well. And then once I'm done with Melly, I don't know. I'll move on to my personal YouTube account and watch all this stuff there. That's where I watch like lifestyle vlogs and... um fashion whatever else but yeah so that's where i'm at right now it's currently 804 i'm going to stop at 9 because i have to be up at 5 5 30 tomorrow so that's what's going on but i'm going to try to make at least two or three more we'll see how the timing is and then i'll get back to you guys with an update on the average time for these frogs i have five frogs now i have the two green that i showed you the two kiwi I have two lavender and one of these mint green ones, and they do take me about 12 and a half minutes each. I timed myself for three of them, and that seems to be the average. So 12 and a half minutes with assembly, like putting, gluing in the eyes and sewing up the booty, probably like 14 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's a really quick project, easy to make. Um, also, I'm sure people can crochet faster, but it's just not me right now. I'm having some pain in my pinky and also my thumb my thumb has gotten better though um so my pinky's probably compensating for it but yeah 
Um, I'm gonna make one more mint green one and then I'm gonna call it a night. It's 8.48 right now, so perfect. Yes, it is November 6th, you guys. It's 5.45 p.m. right now. Um, I took a nap after I got home because I was just exhausted. Um, I'm not used to waking up at 5. I usually wake up at 6, 6.30. Um, so anyways, I was exhausted. I took a quick nap and I have class at 6. Today I'm going to finish the rest of them. I kind of changed my mind about the emerald color. I want to find my like dark green velvet yarn and use that instead of the dark green emerald because I just feel like that one would be a better fit, you know? And or that or I might instead of using another green i might do this blue and the light blue and i think that would also be cute so maybe that's the way to go maybe that might be a little easier so i'm gonna find that color one of those colors okay i turned on another light and if my voice is a little groggy please excuse me i literally i woke up like 10 minutes ago i'm going to use this light blue here it is next to the dark blue and then this would be the color palette i think it's cute um the mint green and the light blue kind of look similar, but since they're different textures, different finishes, I'm sure it'll be okay, but yes. Okay, I am much happier with this color choice compared to the emerald green. It was just too dark and too, I feel like it was just too much of a pri uh, a secondary color, you know what I mean? Like, this is a primary color, but it fits well with the other stuff I have going on, and that one is just like... It threw it off. It threw off the whole the whole color scheme. So we're going with these. I finished all the froggies. Do you guys want to see? You have no choice. You're going to see. Look how adorable they all are. I didn't close them off yet or put in the eyes. Um, I usually use 14 millimeter for these. And with a 4.5 hook and parfait chunky. Look how freaking cute. And I love the colors for them. Like I feel like the colors are so cute together. So, yes, very happy with them. Hello, it is the next day. As you saw yesterday, I finished all the frogs. And I also started a little axolotl in the light blue and dark blue accent. Um, colors that I did for my frogs. I did a light blue frog and a dark blue frog. So the axolotl itself is the light blue color. And then the accent gills and stuff are navy blue. Or like the dark true blue that I had um, made one of the frogs in. But today we got a few orders, so we got an order for the ladybug sea turtle, which has like little beads embroidered. This is one of my favorite things I've made, like I think it's just so adorable, so detailed, very cute. Then we got an order for a lilac fuzzy turtle, which I'm just sewing on the last fin, it looks crazy. And then we got an order for two squids in the lavender color and also in the pink color and then i'm going to send her a freebie in this um a muted purple color i don't know I, this doesn't have a name on it but it's a pretty color from himalaya dolphin baby and this is the comparison to the lavender so as you can see it's a different color i don't have that color listed on my website but i'm gonna make it for her because this is her third round of squids that she's ordering so i'm gonna get her that actually I think that, no, I'm sorry, it's not going to be lavender. This squid is going to be turquoise. Yeah, lavender and pink was the last order she made. So now she wants lavender and this turquoise color, and I'm sending her this one as a freebie. But I do have the lavender here with me because I want to make my monkey in this lavender color with this cream. Oh. I think it's going to look so cute together. And I do have to revise the baby monkey pattern because I think I messed something up when I was um freehanding it so i want to fix that but that's what we're doing today i'm gonna finish these orders and then probably pack them up tomorrow morning i'm not sure but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing tonight and i also have an assignment for school that i have to do it's due tonight at midnight so i want to get all of that stuff done do my assignment and if i have time i'm going to make the little axolotls and then will work on the bigger ones after that um i also do want to make those bears which one of the bears i really want to make in this color i think it's i'm obsessed with this color it's like a mauve uh mauve purple <clears throat> and 
I'm definitely going to order another skein of this next time I place an order for Himalaya Dolphin Baby because it's so pretty and like it's just such a different color than the lavender so I love it. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to start that. You see, I already showered and everything so that I don't have to waste time doing that later. All I have to do is make, take my makeup off. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen today. And I didn't make any Octos today on my way to work because I was making the Fuzzy Turtle because I knew I was going to have a busy day. So I did that instead of the Octos. And yeah, I still have five octos, but now I also have ten frogs, and I have half an axolotl, half a mini one. And yeah, why is it so out of focus? Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, bye guys. I'll update you later. All right, guys, here's the deal. It's the next morning. Yesterday, I mean, I finished all the orders, but I didn't pack them, so I'm going to do that now. And I also didn't finish my school assignment because I literally, I was doing it and I fell asleep right at my computer. I have to do that today, even though it's past two. But let me show you guys everything. Okay, so this ladybug sea turtle was already made. It has the little beads. It has little curved fins, which I love. I need to make another turtle like this with the curved fins. Then we have a finished purple or lilac um fuzzy sea turtle and then we have another squid family the customer ordered turquoise and pink but i am sending her this custom colored lilac one because this is her third order from me in the past two weeks and usually if an order is over a certain amount i'll put in a freebie so she definitely met, met that minimum so I'm sending her this one, and then she did request these two. So, those are all the orders that are going to uh, that are going out today. This is one. The sea turtle, the fuzzy sea turtle, is another, and then the ladybug sea turtle is another. So, I am going to prep the labels and print everything, and I kind of have to hurry up because I need to go to work. Um, <laughs> I still have time, but you know I don't want to run myself late. So, that's what we're gonna do, and I have to prep all the shipping stuff. I should probably film some content also for this um, using my printer. So that's what it is. And then I did not get any market prep stuff done yesterday, which doo doo. But I'm thinking for the bears, I'm gonna make a lavender velvet, a tan velvet, and a mint green velvet because I have all those colors in velvet and I really like them. So I wanna make that. And I think next time I order from Premier Yarns, I'm gonna get more of their retro velvet colors because i really like them and i want to use them more yes honey is licking all my hand cream off thank you so much my girl thank you <laughs> all right guys <laughs> Hi guys, today is Wednesday and I'm very behind on my market prep. Today I've decided I am going to start on the bears and I kind of changed my plan a little bit. Um, I am going to make them velvet bears because I was inspired by this purple lavender color from Premier Retro Velvet. And then I also have this one. I have no idea what it's called, but I'll include it maybe if I don't forget. There's these two colors and then I also have a mint green one. I've made this bear in the mint green color before and I really liked it. And then maybe I'll do this dark green too. Um, I'll try to find the names of these two. These are Burnout Velvet and then these are both Premier Retro Velvet. But I'm really excited for these two colors the most because I already know what it looks like in this one. And the green one, that's like, I don't know, we'll see because I'm not sure if someone would want to buy a green bear, like this kind of green bear. But um, yeah, and then I'm going to use white for the accent colors like for the little paws i have been so tired today i just uploaded my market vlog from my De december for my october 22nd market um the one that was like outside um i up i edited and uploaded that today but yeah i'm just so exhausted i don't know i don't know what's going on with me if it's the change in time or what but I just want to take a nap i'm gonna facetime addison later because we're gonna market prep together on the phone oh he's so cute and so annoying all right guys i just wanted to give you an update it's 8 15 i just got out of class it was online so whatever 
but I'm gonna walk the dogs and what I did get done during class is the head, the body, and two ears. I didn't get much done because this class, um, the press the professor likes to um do group work with the with the class, so she splits us into groups and we actually have to, you know, participate. It's not a lecture kind of deal. Hello, I just got home from work. Um yesterday I didn't have anything to update you guys on really. Um I finished all the parts to the bear. And then it was up until like one on the phone and I made a little axolotl. I've been wanting to make this pattern for so long. It's by Way Crochets and you can make this pattern no so by just um, surface crocheting the uh, tail. What is it called? The gills on the tail? The fins? The fins on the tail? And instead of doing a chain, you can just surface crochet, which is what I did. And it's so cute. I love these colors. Here's a picture that I posted to Instagram. I thought it was really cute the way I did it. I wrote, I love you a lot -o. Um. Anyways, I got some stickers in the mail from All Sticker Printing. I'm working with them over on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there. I think I'm more active there. And also, you guys, today I placed a Premier Yarns order. So when that comes in, I'll show you that. It's supposed to come... Not next week, the week after, which was kind of annoying. Like, their shipping was, was taking so long. It was like 14 to 18 business days for free shipping. I ended up paying like $5 or whatever it was to get it a little sooner because that was ridiculous. Um, that's a really long wait time. And I wanted, I got some Premier uh, Basics Chenille and I wanted to use it for my next market for all the little lovies that I'm going to be making. So yeah, that was really annoying. I had to pay the extra $5, whatever. Um... But yeah, and then I also bought some stickers from Timu because I am not in love with the stickers I have right now. And I put freebies, freebie stickers in my orders all the time. So I wanted to get some cute ones. I'll show you guys that when that comes. I think I'm going to just do it all together. And yeah, I think it'll be a cute little haul video. But anyways, I have an order to take care of. One of my repeat customers, the one that um, was ordering the squids, requested two axolotls. I wanted one in these colors because she just saw my Instagram post because she um, originally ordered uh, a different green. So I'm going to do that one for her, but like the smaller version. And then I am also going to make the pink one that she ordered and that will probably go out tomorrow yeah um i'm not really sure what i'm going to be making today i don't really want to sew the bear together today that's like sounds like a saturday activity and then i also realize i'm probably gonna have to make more bootylicious frogs all right my lovelies i decided what we are going to do today obviously i'm gonna make the axolotls for the order we're using ballet pink and i don't know what this is in sweet snuggles light then we're going to make the other axolotl i'm gonna use this green color and then the other one you know it's the same it's the same colors as i used for this one i'm just gonna make it in a smaller size which looks like this and this ooh, like this and this pattern is by lumi lr um i just have to put the fins on the back which is the other thing we're gonna do today and then the last thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna try out a new pattern it's by lena toys on instagram but her but her etsy is Svetla Art Shop. This is the pattern I'm going to be making and this is her at. It's so cute. Also, there was a tragedy and I broke my nail. You guys, these are my real nails, so I was really upset. Anyways, I'm gonna get them done Sunday. I mean, Saturday before my market because I'm not going like this. These are the colors I'm going to be using for the dragon. The dragon itself is gonna be this lilac color or like mauve purple color and the wings are gonna be this multicolored one, which this is one of my favorite colors ever from sweet snuggles light and yeah so that's what we're gonna do i took a break from making my multicolored octos um because i was doing other stuff in the car like this little axolotl i just ran out of time to do the uh to do the gills the fins oh my god but here's the size difference and before i ship out the order to the customer i'm gonna take a picture of the mini version of this and this one and i think it's gonna be so cute i gotta get started i'm a little delusional i'm a little delirious right now i'm running on five hours of sleep i said that before and anyways so yeah i'm gonna put on some youtube because i saw someone posted a video i can't remember who it was but they posted a new video so i am excited to have something to watch and also today dancing with the stars is on that means tomorrow i'll have a new episode to watch so i'm super excited about 
that as well hey guys it's seven o'clock and i just finished all the axolotls so i finished the blue one that i was just working on for my market just to have it and then i finished the two other ones oh my god i love how big the gills turned out for this one because i used the thicker weight yarn and this one is just so adorable i have to show you guys next to the big one Hold look how cute <laughs> I love them oh my god I have to make another one now so I can bring it to my market because that's adorable good morning it's Saturday I haven't filmed for a while I was so stressed out anyways I have a big order that I have to pack and I just wanted to share it with you guys because all these plushies are so cute they work so well together and yeah this is one of my repeat customers so I just wanted to show you I'm also getting my nails done today woo woo. okay so we have a silly goose we have two axolotls we have two baby frogs one bootylicious frog, two chickens, and a mushroom. So that is the order. I'm gonna pack it up right now, and then I have to go to the post office. So guess what, guys? I went by the post office and it's closed, and I just realized today is Veterans Day, so that's probably why it's closed, but I'm still gonna <laughs> try another post office after I'm done with my nails. Um, because the USPS delivery drivers and um, the people who hand out the mail are still delivering stuff, so I don't know what's going on, but that's, kind of annoying that I didn't realize that anyway so if anything I'll have to ship these packages out on Monday <clears throat> and you guys I made a duty mistake I labeled the wrong packages last time so I had to remake the orders and yeah yeah me and my sister got our nails done yes yes queen um can ready I, for can the I, market tomorrow can I, can I do my review yes so basically guys, I'll show you guys what I asked for. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to seem like a hater. I, I asked for this, okay? And I got this. You know, it's okay, because from afar, guys, you can't even tell. And we also guys. got the best potatoes ever. Ooh, I smell it. Anyways, <gasps> wow, the quality is so good. Maybe it's just because I look good. Maybe that's that's what it is. Oh my god. What? Oh my yeah, god. we're gonna feast on some fries now. It's the day before the market and I'm making my sister do some dirty work for me. <laughs> She's gonna stuff my octos Finger. because I am working on some other plushie. So this is a bootylicious frog that doesn't have its booty yet. But yeah, she's gonna stuff those. There's five of them. I really wanted to make more, you guys. I barely met any of my goals for what I wanted to make, which, like I said, is not a big deal because I have stuff already. I did make ten little frogs. I made one little axo. I made one bigger axo. I have a donkey that I'm gonna bring, and I also have a dragon. Then, today... I made two leggy froggy keychains and I'm doing the bootylicious frog. She's gonna work on that because she slept for three hours and she didn't even help me. Because you didn't wake me up. Put all my supplies together. You refused to wake me up. You think I want to deal with a cranky? Um, I was not gonna be uh, cranky. She's barely awake. 